It's been five years since we gathered. We are the lifeblood of any building. It seems longer. Over the last few years, our emotions have been on a roller coaster. We were confused, scared, angry, and we've grieved. But when the world turned upside down, UA members righted it, turning confusion into action, anger into determination, and grief into fighting back. I couldn't be more prouder of the work of the men and women in Canada and the United States of all the different things that they've done throughout the year of COVID. When our members were deployed to put the natural gas systems, put the oxygen systems in the tents, in the field hospitals, it just gave everybody just a, a ray of hope. So while everybody else is starting to come back to work, we've been working. Now, as we come to terms with one of the nation's darkest periods, we take what we learned and we work smarter, we work safer, and we become a better organization than ever before. Because the United Association is built on excellence and always essential. From coast to coast and border to border, UA members from all crafts have a hand in making a stronger and better country. We are updating the old, creating new, and working on the future. It's a hospital remodel. They decided they wanted their layout changed for this top floor. This job is a whole square block. Our plumbers have been here for over two years, and right now we got 65 plumbers working on this project. We're here at the Las Vegas Raiders Stadium project. Right now, currently, we've got about 150 of our members on site. In the last five years, the uh, sprinkler industry has produced over 28.5 million man hours per year on an average. If it hadn't been for the pandemic in 2020, uh, we would have reached over 30 million hours for the sprinkler industry with the UA. The pandemic and natural disasters over the last few years also proved that the UA's water quality program and Plumbers 911 are on track and needed more than ever to protect citizens' health and grow the UA's market share. Whether you're an HVAC technician, a plumber, or a sprinkler fitter, we're protecting the health of the nation from all of our systems, from contaminating folks in buildings. Plumbers 911 is in 10 states in 17 cities and we've grown every year by a couple cities. And right now we're probably averaging around 4,000 to 6,000 calls a month. Thank you for choosing SoCal Plumbers 911. This is Gabby. No, I think we're 700% up over the last year and a half, which is crazy. But a lot of it is attributed to storms, but a lot of it is attributed to the marketing we do, the out of the box marketing. And that's what you gotta be these days. You know, everything is so different. You gotta, you gotta stand out. About 90% of our calls were from plumber, Plumbers 911 within the first several months of us starting our business. With the country's building backlog due to COVID and an increasingly strong economy, supplying our manpower to contractors is a priority. That means the recruitment and retention of UA skilled workers and gaining market share. The UA needs to organize everyone that's putting in a piece of pipe. I mean, that's what we do. That's what our Constitution says. We're to organize the unorganized. If you guys are looking for work, benefits, that's what we're all about. We're going to find the people, and we're going to find them, we're going to train them, and we'll make sure that we, we do our very, very best to send out qualified workers to yes, signatory please. contractors. We have no idea what the future is going to be bringing us, but it is here already, and we don't have the advantage of waiting any longer. So whenever we hear there's workers, we need to find out who they are, where they're at, and how they're being treated. Workers belong in a union. But it's not just about bodies, it's about market share. We're trying to create market share to create economic opportunities for the men and women of the United Association and their families to earn a decent middle-class living. The solution, hard work opening up borders to UA tradesmen and women in Canada, freedom of movement for members, and recruiting and training the next generation of workers. I can't wait to get out there and get an opportunity to talk to some young men and women about the UA and tell them the opportunities, and most importantly, encourage them. Don't give up. There you go. If you don't get in your first time, try again. If you don't get in your second time, try again. The last time the apprenticeship standards were updated was uh, 2012. So we're looking to update all of our apprenticeship standards. 
The other thing that we're looking at is apprentice selection criteria. We want to make sure that the underrepresented communities have the opportunity to be into our trades and that our, our trades start to look more and more like the communities they serve. I mean, this afternoon uh, to the graduating class of AWP Class 1-2021. We reached out to all the community colleges near us and some of the weld programs close to us and said, hey, we have a need. We're willing to take in so many young people and they've had to have completed a certificate program or a degree program. So these young guys now will have a job for a long time. Anybody can do it. All you have to do is try. So the UA has over 579 fabrication shops that are employing the men and women of the UA working every day by having our UA men and women trained on the latest technology and able to use the latest equipment in the fabrication shops. It allows our signatory contractors to turn out a quality product at a great price, which in turn leads to more work that's available on other projects for our members as well. And the opportunities for us to work are in all sectors. Well, there's always new initiatives in, in our industry. A lot of our departments are starting along the same lines as the Plumbers 911. We now have HVAC 911. We have a couple of pilot programs going on in different locals, and it seems to be very successful. All right, so the Keystone loss was a major blow, but you know we can't let that dictate who we are. There's plenty of opportunity in the pipeline industry, and with the new green energy projects like carbon capture and hydrogen, and fossil fuel projects like power generation coming from that natural gas. In the next five years, I see natural gas expanding its influence in the energy market. Right now, it's 38% of our total energy output in America right now. It's gonna mean UA jobs. If we can get carbon capture as a scalable, viable resource to, to make coal a fuel source again, then we can share that with the rest of the world and lower emission rates without having to retrain or cross-train any employees. We could all keep doing our jobs. The president's, one of his bills is energy efficiency in buildings. That is gonna be huge for the UA. Times have been good for us, but we've also done our job, done our obligation to make sure that the future is bright. That bright future and all its opportunities will be available for every member of the United Association. If we give everybody the same opportunity, we will look a whole lot better in the years to come.